हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू फुल स्टैक वेब डेवलपमेंट कोर्स यूजिंग रिएक्ट जेस एंड स्प्रिंग बूट सो गाइस एज यू ऑल आर नो दैट वी हैव सक्सेसफुली कंप्लीटेड अवर स्प्रिंग बूट पार्ट ऑफ अवर जो सोशल एप्लीकेशन वी हैव कवर ऑल द नेसेसरी टॉपिक्स एंड वी वी हैव कंप्लीट ऑल द ए दैट वी विल नीड फॉर अवर एप्लीकेशन and from today guys we are a start react part okay so we will implement the front end part of our application using react js and, and in today's video we will implement this ui for authentication like uh, this uh, register form as you can see here and when i click on the login form you can see the login form as well and when i click register you can see the register form so this functional uh, this functionality guys uh, today we'll implement in this video okay so now without wasting any time let's get started uh, first we need to create one react project so let's create it for that i will create one folder here and give it a uh, jos social okay i will give it name jos social jos social jos social a uh, react de dete hain so so sir react now let me open this folder with uh, vs code so i will right click on this uh, so more options and open with it uh vs code okay now vs i trust the author i will give it and uh, now let me open uh, terminal and uh in the terminal will write command for creating a react app so it will be npx create react app okay and we need to create uh, in this directory itself that's why we need to give here dot okay now i will hit the enter and it will creating our project so let's wait uh, still it will uh, downloading all the dependencies which need for our projects okay and uh, after creating our project we need to install some dependencies like uh, mui i mean material ui then react router dom also we need uh, yup and formic for a uh, form validation okay so this dependencies uh, we will uh, add in our project so let's wait guys and uh, it will take some time guys we need to wait we don't have any options okay so let's wait and uh, let me create a necessary okay i guess uh, it's uh, okay still some de uh, dependencies are left to download and uh, yeah it is installing okay uh, so guys all the dependencies are downloaded and now we can uh, start our project so uh, for that we need to run npm start command okay so when i run npm start it will run our project on localhost 3000 as you can see here okay and uh, yeah so our project is uh, run now let me go to here and uh, inside a uh, src directory guys we need to create one folder okay so here i will create one folder called uh, pages pages there is again okay all the pages we will uh, keep inside this uh, directory so first is uh, let's uh, give it name authentication so i will create one more directory here uh, authentication authentication so authentication related all the files will keep inside this uh, authentication folder so what are those uh, files first is uh, login so login dot uh, jsx uh, second is uh, register rfc that uh, let me give your rfc key rfc okay so this is the guys uh, uh this is shortcut for uh, creating our component okay so it will create uh, one component for uh, for us 
now let me create one more file and that is nothing but a register a register dot jsx so shortcut is r a f c e when i hit the enter it will create one component for us now uh, let me create one more file and that is nothing but authentication authentication dot jsx r f c e okay so we we have uh, created authentication uh, component here now what we need to do is uh, we need to call this authentication or we need to render this component uh, authentication uh, component in our app.js app.js file so all the default code i will remove from here so let me remove from here and i will remove this class name as well because we don't need it and i will remove this line number one as well because we don't need this line number one and here i will uh, uh, render our authentication component so i will call it here authentication and uh, we need to import that authentication uh, we need to import here our authentication component but uh, why i'm not able to uh, so guys uh, i have uh, make here uh, this mistake and i need to make it correct so what i'm gonna do is uh, i will change the name authentication okay and now when i click here so it will give me the suggestion for importing this uh, file so i will import it okay now when i see in browser you can see my authentication component is here okay so and uh, in the left side i need this image and in the right side i need to create this uh, register form and login form as well okay so we'll do this but before this guys we need to uh, install some libraries or maybe we um, uh, we need to add some libraries to our project and what uh, what are those uh, first is mui so let's uh, search for mui here mui.com let's go to this website and uh, uh, let's create on i mean let's uh, click on mui core maybe material ui and let's uh, get started and he uh, not here in the installation here you will get this command okay we need to uh, copy this command and paste it over here to install mui in our project so it will install uh, mui library for us okay and uh, second is uh, formic okay second library is formic for so for make so why we need for make uh, using for make we can handle our form in better way okay we can uh, apply authentication and uh, all this thing using this for make library so let's uh, install this for make in a project all right uh, for make also install and one more thing we need to install is yup validation uh, with this formic library we will use uh, yup as well to validate our input uh, actually format inputs okay so let me uh, install here so for this we need to write command npm i yup okay it will install yup as well all right so all the necessary uh, dependencies guys we have uh, installed now let's start uh, to code okay so first what we are going to do is first we will uh, uh, implement this uh, front end page uh, front end ui and then uh, after completing this front end ui we will in integrate the our api with it so that the uh, login and register functionalities work fine so let's do this all 
all right so what i'm going to do is uh, i will i will use here greet okay i will use here greet and uh, i need to give here container because it's going to be container all right and inside that i will give greet item so it's going to be item so i need to give here item uh, access so inside this access i need to give a uh, number so i will give here 7 so guys we need to give here number from 1 to 12 because we have a uh, uh, 12 layer in the grid okay so yeah now uh, here we can uh, give our images our image so this image so let me copy image address you can copy this image from here and i will paste it over here and uh, here i need to give class name so class name i will give height full and width full okay but guys it will not work because we haven't installed yet uh, telvin css so we need to first install telvin css as well for our project so let's uh, search for telvin css actually it's a uh, telvin ui we don't need telvin ui but we need uh, telvin css so telvin css i will search for telvin css uh, let me go to installations and uh, inside frame uh, framework guide we'll choose uh, react okay and uh, here we need uh, some instructions to add Telvin CSS in our project. So what I'm going to do is uh, uh, I will copy this command. Let me copy both and I will paste it over here. It will install guys the uh, Telvin CSS for us. Okay, as you can see. Uh, then we need to copy this and uh, paste it in tailwind.config.js file so let me find here tailwind.config.js file okay now uh, from where tailwind.config.js file will come so when i guys uh, run this command npx tailwind css in it it will generate uh, tailwind.config.js file for us okay now we need to uh, add these three line in our index.css file so let me go to index.css file and in the last here i will paste those three lines okay and uh, now we need to once uh, stop the server and run it again so let me npm start and let's wait okay so our uh, project is run let me close this and go to here so as you can see our uh, images are our image is working fine but uh, structured is still not same as our project so we need to find uh, make it correct so for this i will give here class name so what i'm gonna do is uh, height i will give a uh, screen and overflow i will give hidden because we don't need overflow here okay so now you can see uh, our uh, this image and this image will look like the same okay and uh, in the right side we need uh, this card so let's create this card as well uh, i'm going to create one more grid uh, grid item here so great i need to give here a uh, item okay and uh, access this time as uh, i will give five as i said before we have what 12 12 grid so we can give here seven and uh, here we can give 5 so 5 plus 7 it will become 12 okay if you can give uh, if you have give, given here 6 then here you need to give 6 and here if you have given 8 then here you need to give 4 all right 
so now let's start and uh, I will create one more div and I will give here class name uh, class name I will give px20 I will give flex flex column then justify center and height I will give full so full means it's hundred percent so you can see height is hundred percent so I need one more div here I will give class name uh, card and p8 okay then I will write here h1 tag so inside this I need to give our applications name and it's Joe's social okay so so CL Joe's social and here I need to give class name so class name is of logo uh, all right uh, but I guess uh, I need to create here one more div and inside this div I need to keep h1 tag okay and I need to give some style to this uh, this div as well so flex uh, flex column and then item center uh, margin bottom 5 and uh, space y x space in y x 1 now I need to write here one p tag so let me copy the, uh, this our line from here and I will paste this line here okay and uh, here I need to give some uh, text center so here also we need to give some style on uh, text center not uh, clip center text SM width 70% okay and uh, here we need to give you our login page so let me give here login and let's see so it will look like this okay no problem or maybe we can uh, write here card as well instead of thief JSX closing tag card okay and let's see okay so card will look like uh, this okay now guys we need to uh, write code for our login form so let's go to here and go to login.jsx and uh, we'll write login form here okay so let's start first of all let's uh, remove this and write here for me Uh, we need to import this formic from formic okay here we need to give initial value initial value uh, not a year actually initial value okay so we don't have initial value currently so let me uh, write here const initial value set or maybe um, form value form value set form value equal to u state uh, 
okay uh, what I'm gonna do let's uh, define here initial value so initial value so equal to this okay and inside this I need to give initial value that's it okay uh, we need to give here a validation schema as well so let's write here validation schema validate name validation schema so validation schema this uh, validation validate okay let's define here validation schema as well validation schema okay and we need to give here validation schema okay one more thing on submit we need to give uh, one uh, function so let's give it uh, handle submit and we need to create this uh, handle submit here const handle submit equal to okay so when we will uh, uh, implement api for this that time we will uh, write logic here for a handle submit okay so for the uh, temporary let me write here console.log handle submit okay so we can uh, console here handle submit now let me format make it format and inside it we'll write our form so form will also come from uh, formic okay inside this we will uh, define all the different different fields here we need to give class name uh, space y we need to give 5 okay let me write here one div also I need to give a class to this div as well space y I need to give 5 and inside this div I need to I need one more div okay no need to give a class name to this div and inside this div I will uh, write one field okay so it's gonna be a self closing so this field is for email input okay so let me give here name email and uh, placeholder I need to give here placeholder is uh, email and I will give here as a text field as a text field okay it's come from MUI and also we need to make it format so here we need to give type so type we can give here uh, email okay then uh, variant we can give here so variant so variant's gonna be outline outline okay and uh, we'll give it full width full width so it will give 100% width it will take 100% width okay now let me make it format so yeah and uh, here I need to give error message so error message uh, name gonna be email uh, component uh, we can make it div okay then uh, class name we can give text uh, rate 500 okay so that's it now guys uh, let's define this initial value 
and uh, validation schema okay so let's complete this thing uh, initial value we need only two things that is nothing but email and password for login email and password okay but uh, in the validation schema also we need to give uh, two things email and yep okay so let me import this yep import star as a yep from yep and uh, now what i need to do is uh, i need to write here a um, validation so it's it should be string first then email okay it should be email it's not type of email then we can give error message so message should be invalid image uh, sorry invalid email invalid you know this uh, message will appear there if email is not valid and it should be required okay if uh, some user make it empty then uh, will pass it uh, pass message to user that email should be required so let me email is required email should be required email is required okay now uh, let's write for password so also in the password will uh, tell it uh, it should be a string first thing is then second thing is minimum length of this password should be six minimum length of this password should be six and uh, if not then we will pass your message that uh, password must be at least six character six characters uh, then i will give here second validation and that is nothing but required same as email so we'll write here password should be required or maybe password is required password is uh, required password is required let me make it format okay so our validation schema is also ready for now now let's go to here and uh, what what is the problem uh intermediate elevus not function hmm on submit validation schema so let me check what is the problem is as a text field name placeholder type variant as outline uh, full width uh, full width uh, width aise hi tha na full width okay so problem is handle submit 
initial value mm. values right uh, okay and we can take values here as well now so it says uh, intermediate value intermediate value intermediate value is not a function it's not a function email and okay 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 so guys it's give me error because we didn't give here uh, this field this password field that's why I guess so let me copy this and uh, right here now password as well so control D T I will give here password and uh, now this time I will want password placeholder password name password outline variant outlined and here password email your validation uh, let me refresh this page once and check okay still I'm getting okay let's check inside inspect so uh, schema okay so schema has some problem yep from yep string email password yep dot string dot email required string dot main dot required So I don't think uh, there is any problem with the uh, schema because it's fine, right? Yeah, it's look like fine. So let's do this guy. Uh, let's do one thing. Uh, let me comment out this validation schema for now and let's check. Okay, now it's not giving me any error. And uh, also I need to create here a login button. okay so what I'm gonna do is uh, let me do this and here I can create one bot one button for submit ah, sorry login okay and I need to import this button from material UI and I need to give some style to it so I will give in SX padding I will give here 0 0.8 rem and 0 rem okay and I will give here full width tab should be submit and variant I will give it variant I will give here uh, um, failed go gable what is called uh, what it called 
I guess uh, content I'm not content actually yeah content variant content why it's not giving me any suggestion uh, colors will be primary primary okay now let me go to here and check what's the problem with our button full width sx alt shift f primary content variant content and from where i have import is bass okay so let me make it correct we need to import this button guys don't this base we need to import this mui material button okay so that's why it's giving us error and now you can see our button is look like fine okay and when I uh, whenever I write uh, any email here and password okay so and when I try to log in it will give me the data so our login form is working fine okay now let's create our register form as well so what I'm gonna do is uh, I will copy this whole thing maybe I can uh, copy this whole component as well so let me copy this and I will paste it over here Ctrl A Ctrl V and I will uh, change name to change name from login to register so register uh, here as well I will give register okay now I will go to authentication and I will comment out this login component and I will render here uh, register component now okay and let's check inside front end so as you can see uh, we need to change here from login to register button to make these changes okay uh, now we need to add here some fields and what are those fields so let me go to here when I click on register you can see first name last name so these two things and one more is uh, this gender things so first let's uh, add here uh, first name last name field so what I'm gonna do is I will uh, copy these fields will paste it over here two times and uh, I will change here email to first name first name then uh, here also I need to make it change make changes so first name uh, it should be not email now it should be type uh, text okay here I will give a uh, first name and uh, here last name here also I will change from email to last name last name and type is text that will be text and uh, name will be first name uh, actually last name sorry okay now let me go to here so as you can see first name last name email and password we have this three fields and we need to add one more fields and that is nothing but uh, gender for 
uh, for this we will uh, will use your radio button okay radio group so what i'm going to do is uh, uh, let's go to mui let's search for radio button or maybe we can go to component and uh, right here radio group okay and uh, uh, we need this so so code and what i'm gonna do is we need this a radio group so i will copy this and uh, after those fields like password email i will paste it that copy it thing uh, let import the uh, let's import this radio group okay form control we need to uh, give here male and female okay we don't need others so i will import uh, import this and i will import this as well and i guess that's it our work is done now okay and let me give here label and that is nothing but gender area label gender okay and inside name also we will give gender and let's uh, go to here let's write our first name ram kapoor uh, ram at the gmail.com and let's uh, write our password let's choose a uh, mail and register and let's see what we will get so handle submit we have get uh, these three things but we haven't get uh, gender things okay so what i'm gonna do is initial value we need to add some fields that is nothing but first name last name and gender as well okay now what i have give i have get uh still this is not here so label male female and gender okay let me go to here so why others are form control label we don't need this uh i guess uh, we need to create handler for this manually but uh, it should be work gender name gender value female control ratio label female this is also here so this is fine let's write our this message as well uh, we need to give here gender okay error message and 
and let me refresh it once Okay, so this time our uh, gender is coming null. Uh, this time also is null. Okay, no problem. Gender. 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 let's go to mui and let's see how uh, control will work so control let's give uh, radio control but uh, radio control is not working radio control radio control is not working And what is the problem? Uh, will you female? Should I wrap this uh, radio group inside from form control? On change. Handle change. Let's do this thing. We can give here on change. Okay. And uh, uh, inside this uh, radio group, we can give on change and it should be handle change now let me write handle change here set value instead of set value what we can do is uh, let me give here initial values first okay or maybe let's uh, give here gender gender set gender okay and let me give here null or instead of uh, set value we can give here set gender okay and here before consoling what we are gonna do is values dot uh, gender equal to gender now let's uh, uh, check it's working or not or here now let me check this female so you can see uh, we get uh, female when I click on male it's male so 
sita sita okay so now all the fields are working fine definitely guys register as well and login as well so let me now uh, come out of this and this so you can see login form as well okay guys so that's it for this video and uh, in the next video we will uh, integrate the api for this okay and uh, also we haven't uh, set up a route for our application so that's why we need to uh, comment out and comment uh, this uh, components okay but when we implement the route for our uh, in our application uh, that time we'll able to uh, navigate to another page uh, by clicking on any uh, some buttons like when i click on login so uh, you can see the login form when i click on register you can see the register form and when i click on uh, forgot password you can see the forgot password uh, form as well okay so that's uh, think we will uh, implement in our upcoming videos uh, okay guys then uh, let's meet in the next video